All right, guys, so let's jump into uh, professional, uh, men's professional shot put. So right now we have uh, Joe Kovacs. This is where he won the world championships uh, with a 22.91 meter throw, which is um, over 75 feet. So that is the tied for the third farthest throw ever in the history of men's shot put. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to choose Joe Kovacs for the professional analysis was um, he is uh, has a fantastic rotational technique. Um, he is not he's probably around six foot tall, um, and so it's a good example of how I'm going to use this word lightly, but shorter a uh, person can throw really far. Now, a couple of things to note about Joe Kovacs: he is incredibly strong, um, like wor world class strong. He, he his Olympic lifts and his squats and bench and all those things are through the roof. So that is a reason that he throws as far as he does, but also he throws far because of his technical proficiency. And so I've actually never reviewed this throw and this will be the first time I've ever looked at in slow motion. And what I just want to do is see if what I can see, like why he throws as far as he does. So let's, uh, let's watch this and, and get into it. Boom, goodness gracious. Let's watch that again. All right. Now let's watch this at half speed. Cool, cool. So let's let's go back and look at some of the things we teach. So we teach, uh, through this course, we've been looking at um, wide knees, uh, posture, and shoulder behind hip. Let's just see as he goes through this throw. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is one of the first things I notice. Look here, when his right foot makes contact in the middle, you can see he is very much on, on his toe, and that, that right side is very strong. And look here, look at how how far this left foot is off the ground when this makes contact. You, you probably notice when you when you look at some of your own throws how um, when this comes down, your left foot is just barely coming off the ground. So this shows that Joe is uh, flying forward, really moving fast, um, has an excellent sprint off of his left. You can see here um, the knees as he comes around. The left foot turns all the way to the sector, and his knees are apart. And then you, what I what I like to notice is, in order for his knees to stay apart like that, that means his his whole lower body is very strong and rigid. So that as as that right is flying around, as this is turning. That right hip switches and goes to the middle, and his left foot comes along with it. So that is very, very impressive, very connected. So other thing I see here is, it's hard to see, but his right hip definitely is pointing towards the sector. So like this, like his pocket is, 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 is there. And you can see the shot put, his shoulder is back here. So here, upon landing, not only is this left foot really good, but the shoulders behind hip, and I like what he's doing here with that with that long left arm. I think this le long left arm um, it helps keep the sh shot put back as his legs are are rotating and, and really going forward into the circle. So he lands again. Everything is about um, the speed through the circle the ability to turn on our feet. Let's look back here. You can see that the very second that this right foot makes contact, that it's turning. It's not a crazy turn, right? It's just turning, turning, turning. And here, okay, so here his left foot makes contact. He is open a little bit, right? So his, his head um, is is looking out to the side, but obviously this is one of the best throws in history. I would say this shot put 
is loaded behind this hip. You can see how his posture is actually fantastic. His hip is over the foot, and you can see that the, both the hip is moving this way and the foot. He already has that, that rotational movement happening, and there that shot put is, and his shoulder is behind the hip. So that is a, a very good power position. One thing I find interesting, so uh, I, I teach, and, and when I was taught by Coach V, we teach a flat left foot in the front. Um, Joe does not do that, but um, clearly that's okay. <laughs> what, what you notice a lot of times with the professional throwers, everybody... Everybody has their own style, their own flair. You could even say errors. Um, but when you get to this level, there are so many things that contribute to far throws, like your speed and your rhythm and your strength levels that can um, mask errors or whatever. But even in this throw, like I wouldn't call it an error because what, what, what he's doing good is sprinting like crazy through the circle, forward towards the ring with great posture and great turning. Those are the things that really make you throw far. And let's see here. Really nice strike on that shot put. One other critique to this throw, and again, I critique this very uh, lightly. This is one of the best throws in the history of the world, but he lets go of that shot put and both of his feet are off the ground. Um, when we do throw, we want to think ground contact as long as ground contact is possible. But what he's doing is um, exploding like a box jump, like a vertical jump, crushing that shot put. Uh, one other thing I'll say is when we reverse, our ideal reverse is this right foot lands where our, right, our left foot was. And you can see he does that perfectly. Lands that for the most part, flat. So there you go. So I think the the reason he throws as far as he does, one is this incredible sprint coming off his left and the uninhibited transition in the middle. So he goes, has this wild sprint, and then there is no hesitation here. He just continues to, to um, continue to progress in the throw. And he does all of that with the shot put shoulder behind the hip uh, and then you couple that with world world class strength levels and you get a 75 foot shot put throw so uh, that is awesome